Good morning dear friends how nice to meet you through this video though i am not able to see your faces i know that god loves you and you love god and you want to know god's will and so may this meditation time be a really good time for you why why you are strengthened in your faith encouraged to live for jesus and love him more and serve him god bless you Today's meditation is based on uh, two different scripture passages found in the same chapter the gospel according to St Mark chapter 14 the first passage is from verses 29 to 31 and the second passage is from verses 66 to 71 of Mark's gospel chapter 14 and in this term i would like you to read it and when i mention this uh, as i progress in our meditation you will uh, remember the occasions now in these two passages we have a revelation of a two faces of a peter a man who did not know himself who carried two faces and the two references of peter showing two faces of peter the disciple now the references are from the same chapter gospel according to saint mark chapter 14 make sure that you read these passages after the meditation of and then you think of what you heard in verses 29 to 31 Peter thought he was ready to die with Jesus. You know, Jesus was explaining to them uh, that uh, he will be arrested and he will suffer once he is in Jerusalem. And uh, he also mentioned that the disciples will run away from him. But very boldly this Peter declared, "Master, you do not know peter even if all these other fellows who will leave you and run away i will come with you and i am ready to die and give my life for you that's what he declared that is what uh, uh, chap uh, verses 29 to 31 and then you will see what really happened when you read from verses 66 to 71 where as jesus predicted he denied jesus three times you see the two faces of peter it is a very important therefore for us my friends don't deceive ourselves by thinking that i can do all things i can even give my life for jesus only when that occasion comes you will discover whether you are able to do it or not jesus knew the real peter behind the mask there was another peter hidden which the world did not know and in fact peter did himself did not know see jesus knew the real peter uh, there was an unrevealed peter whom peter himself did not know behind the mask there was another peter hidden and jesus could clearly see that peter and only jesus could see it. and my friends it is very certain that there are so many people going around with a mask on they themselves do not know How, how how powerful they are how dedicated they are and how much love they have for jesus christ there are so many people who really do not know it took a disastrous fall to see himself from this experience of peter denying jesus i would like to bring to your attention uh, two important things about peter these lessons if learned and apply in our life we will be able to avoid a lot of disappointment 
and uh, uh, a lot of heartbreaks later on and it will be good for us to discover ourselves and that can be done only when you stand face to face with Jesus who said I am the light of the world in his light you will be able to see what is hidden the number one lesson I would like to pass on to you is Peter showed some remarkable spiritual um, power of two three occasions two three things I will point out he gave up all in order to follow Jesus now that takes some courage and determination and secondly he readily obeyed Christ and followed him in obedience and in another occasion they were they were they were laboring and working too hard the whole night to catch some fish this happened after the resurrection of Jesus Jesus was coming and going and so they were still in doubt and and uncertain so once Peter said I am going fishing and six other disciples followed him and then in the morning they arrived at the at the shore and Jesus asked them do you have any fish that you just now caught and Peter said nothing we caught nothing and then Jesus showed them the place where they should cast their net and Jesus I mean Peter though he knew that he tried everywhere and including that spot and in the night he said master the whole night we labored but we could not catch a single fish but at your word we will cast the net see he was willing to obey Jesus and then another occasion he is the only disciple who dared to walk on the troubled waters and how did he walk he walked on the word of God when they realized that it was Jesus Peter immediately responded to master if it is you allow me order me command me that I will come to you what a courage what a desire what a desire and he did not cry out to master then if it is you please calm the sea please let the storm stop and let the rain stop or let the let the boats be steady and let there be calm no he did not pray any of these things he said if it is you let me also walk the way that you are walking and he really walked he was the only one who walked over that troubled waters that is a spiritual courage and my friends uh, there is another occasion he had a spiritual insight you know to the question of Jesus once he asked what do you say who I am and Peter again immediately you are the Christ the son of the living God what an insight what a revelation so you notice uh, there are these certain spiritual power manifested in his life okay let us let it be there and the second thing I want to remind you in that case what was the problem with Peter see he gave up everything to follow Jesus except his self he kept that self to himself and first of all Jesus explained to the disciples about uh, things he was going to suffer in Jerusalem uh, what was Peter's response he went to Jesus and pulled him out of the crowd and uh, separated him and he said master what are you talking about please 
let nothing you said happen to you that was his problem you shall never never suffer anything that you are describing he could not consent to the death of jesus christ for humanity and uh, this you will read in matthew chapter 16 verses 22 and 23 on another occasion uh jesus sitting with his disciples to enjoy the last supper our last passover supper with them he took the wash basin and uh, went to each disciple washing their feet and he went to peter immediately peter no 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 you will not wash my feet what does that mean he could not consent to the ministry of jesus to him that he may have a part in the kingdom of god this you will read in uh, john's gospel chapter 13 verses 6 uh, 7 and 8 so here you will see um he he could not consent to some very important thing that Jesus was either doing or experience going to experience which are which which means you know the entire ministry of Jesus of a saving the world saving people dependent on his suffering and death and also his ministry to all of us of a cleansing us and he could not consent and there is another thing that you will notice he was very self seeking once jesus he told jesus he was jesus was talking about discipleship that how uh, someone who wants to be a disciple must deny himself and deny everything and everyone following jesus and at the conclusion of it peter suddenly spoke to jesus jesus We gave up everything in order to follow you. Now what we will get? What does that show? Self-interest and the selfishness. There is a selfishness in our doing anything for Jesus or following Jesus. Why do you follow Jesus? There was a Jewish a uh, Hebrew rabbi lived during the second century after Jesus I mean during this millennium and once he prayed he self examined himself and uh, he discovered there can be wrong motive in following Jesus and showing our love for Jesus so he felt very guilty about selfishness self motive he went to god in prayer and with tears he prayed lord my god jehovah god if i follow you because i love heaven please exclude me from heaven and if i am following you because i am afraid of hell then burn me in that hell but if i follow you out of love and nothing else just love my motive because i love you i follow you then with both your arms embrace me and accept me in your heavenly abode my friends let love be the only motivation in following jesus and doing anything for Jesus everything else will be in vain and will be burned up and there will be no reward why do you go to church because you love god and because you love god he you love god's house why do you worship because you love jesus he is worthy of worship and nothing else why do you give not to receive hundredfold as some ministers will some preachers will tell you you sow uh, your seed into my ministry and uh, you will be blessed and be prosperous 
and then you want to be prosperous by getting hundredfold back. Then you sow and you give. That is a wrong doctrine, my friends. Your giving should be absolutely out of love and nothing else. Even if you live the rest of your life as a beggar. But you give for God because you love him. He is worthy of your riches. Nothing else. And why do you serve God? Because you love him. He gave himself totally for your sake. Every drop of blood. What will be your response to that love? So let that be. There will be no self-seeking, my friends. Matthew chapter 19, verse 27. You read that. And thirdly, the problem with Peter was self-confidence. Though all will forsake you, I will come with you and I'll give my life. Self-confidence. Self-confidence. Jesus did not spend any time in arguing with him. No, Peter, you are going to really... He only said you are going to deny me three times before the rooster crow. And that's exactly what happened when you read in the same chapter, verses 67, 66 to 71. My friends, check your life, your motive, your intention in following Jesus Christ, in worshipping Him, in serving Him, in giving for Him. You know, when you give out of love, you give abundantly and joyfully and cheerfully. And that is the kind of giving that God is pleased with. And that is the kind of giving that God Himself will reward you. But you don't give because of reward. You give because you love. You serve Him because of love, then your whole heart is involved. You will enjoy serving Him. Otherwise, it is a burden, my friends. Remember this. You know, Peter had a terrible fall. It took that fall for Peter to see himself. In his true self, for the first time, he himself has never seen that Peter who was sitting inside of him. And it was very bitter for him to see himself. He went out at the look of Jesus and wept bitterly. And he truly repented that he was never the same again. The most important lesson, one can possess all spiritual qualities yet fail at the most crucial time. So never go out because you have confidence in yourself. Apostle Paul realized this and he said, my confidence is Jesus. I am what I am only because of his grace. And I do all things, not by my strength, but through Christ who strengthens me. I will do all things. Without Christ and His grace, you will not be able to stand even on your two feet. It is His grace that holds you up. Every moment you need Him. Realize this and then you follow. God bless you for this is God's plan for your life. Amen. Father, there are people who listen to this who need to come out of themselves and see themselves who they really are in the light of your word. That will be an eye-opener. They shall never be the same again. And that's what we need change us. Help us to see ourselves in the light of you. Thank you for you are the light of the world. 
in Jesus name amen god bless you this is a wonderful day enjoy this day and have a good day amen